to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I am joined by one of my co-workers, the beautiful Darlene. Hello. Thank you so much for coming on. Hello, everybody. So uh, we're both English teachers here at the school. Yes. And uh, today we're going to do a quick Versace versus Dior fragrances. Ooh. So I don't know if you have experience with any of the Dior's, if your significant other wears a Dior of a, a Versace. Well, um, my fiance is a huge Versace supporter. So um, I'm actually familiar with two of these, mm -hmm. one more than the other, the, um, which one, whichever one this, this one, one is. This one is Eros. And I actually have it in the female version. He got it for me as ah, a gift. Ah, nice. Um, and as far as Dior goes, I think mm -hmm. I'm familiar with one of these two. I know that they're similar, but not, or, parodies of the other, whatever be the case, yeah. but um, I'm not sure if I've smelled them, so pretty much everything in the Dior lineup is going to be new to me today, and All right. three out of, four out of five of the Versace is new to me today, so. All right, that fun. sounds good. Yeah, so hopefully I get a chance to introduce you to something new. So we're going to do a quick battle, uh, just to very quickly run through the fragrances so you know what they are at home. Uh, Versace Dylan Blue, Versace Eros, Versace The Dreamer, Versace Poron, Versace Mano Fraiche, Dior Sauvage, Dior Fahrenheit Cologne, Dior Fahrenheit, Dior Homme, Dior Homme Parfum. So, yeah. And this one, which you recognize, has actually been out since 1988. Nice. So that means it's a classic. I hope it's not influencing <laughs> you in any way, but... Not so, I guess we'll just do them one at a time. So, let's start off with these two heavy hitters. I'll spray this one first. It's Versace Dylan Blue. And there's that one. You're welcome. I can see where the blue kind of comes from in the name because I'm reminded of like denim and blue jeans. Mm -hmm. um, it's heavy. Yeah. I'm not sure my fiance would like this one because it's heavy, but it's it's okay. It's not the worst thing I've ever smelled. <laughs> so you, would, you wouldn't mind smelling that on him? I wouldn't mind smelling it, but I don't think I would because I think it's too heavy for his his taste. Yeah. Um, but it's it's nice. It's favorable if you like a heavy um, fragrance to kind of like chill. Um, yeah. Could be an everyday, but I don't know. It's a lot of like. Products. Yeah, it is. No, in all seriousness, this is supposed to be somewhat of a stronger version of this one. Okay. So I think you were pretty spot on when you picked that up. No. Ah. Cool. So this is Dior Own Parfum. Ooh. Oh. No. Mm -mm. Wow. No. Okay. There's something in here. I don't know what it is, but it's very overpowering. Okay. And it's my nose isn't liking it. <laughs> <laughs> it is very strong. It has like uh, I think vanilla, some resins. Maybe it's, it's a little bit on the sweeter resins. side. It's like something that's like not mixing well for me, and I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Okay. I, kinda, I can see the resin because that's how the bottle kind of represents. Yeah. Represent. This is it's dark liquid. Resin. Yeah. Look. It looks like yes. This one is a no for me. Uh, all right, so Versace wins this round Yay! with the victor being Dylan Blue. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to the next couple. We have Versace Eros and Dior Um, the original. This one is not as strong, so okay. we'll see. Let's see. And you're familiar with this one already, but just to remind you. Yes, remind me. Although my fiance is a big Versace supporter, um, he doesn't wear a lot of cologne often, mm. so I forget. Mm. After smelling it, right after that one, it's almost like it's kind of light. Like yeah. It's almost like it doesn't just that one. It's so like, see me here, smell me here kind of thing, but yeah, we like it. And how about Dior Um, the original? Better. Okay. But still no. <laughs> oh, better than that version. Better than that version. It's not, it's lighter. Okay. Is there resin in this too? No, not in that one. That one is predominantly floral. Hmm. There's a note in there called iris. Okay. Does the smell remind you of lipstick at all? A little bit. I was trying to remind my I'm like, it's something. Yeah. I'm not really sure, but um, a little bit. So that's what our lipstick smells like. Kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think orris butter is used in cosmetic products. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. But um, This one is better than that one. But for me, I think the, the, the arrows is winning. The All one. right. It's not the worst, though. Like the other one, definitively no. But this one is. It, well, okay. Cool. I'm maybe, like on the fence. <laughs> maybe I should have brought in Diorome Intense. There was like a middle ground one, Ooh. so it's Diorome, Diorome Intense, and then Diorome Parfum. Okay. So many might argue because this one also has a little bit of leather in it, uh -huh. so maybe that's making it a little bit too rough and tumble. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. All right. So <laughs> now we're left with uh, mostly Versace's, just three Dior's. So now we're going to go for the classics. We right. have Versace, The Dreamer. I'm excited. And Dior Fahrenheit. So this time we're going to spray the Dior first. Yes. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited because you said that one is a classic, so I'm like, this must be good if it's been around for so long, right? You be the judge. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. It's interesting. I'm trying to put my finger on it, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's like a good middle ground. Um, I feel like I, maybe that's what it is. I feel like I've smelled it like on other people, like in passing. So it must yeah, be like a common have. smell. I don't dislike it and I don't like love it either. Okay. It's kind of like just there kind of thing. All right. Um, it's not bad. Let's see if you like it more than the less. dreamer. Okay. And then this is supposed to be less than that. So let's see. I don't even remember mm -hmm. what that smells like now. Three you... colognes later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After a time, you start to experience what's called olfactory fatigue. Oh, okay. So your nose starts to tune things out. But, I gotcha. uh, there's that. Oh. Is it wrong that this one reminds me of wine? <laughs> no, like... not at all. I know there's tobacco in it. It's something in there. <clears throat> it's a little sweet, too. It does, it yeah, it does have a sweetness to it. Yeah, I think this one would win. Blah, blah, blah. This one would win this round for me, as opposed to this one. At least this one kind of stands out a bit. Um, okay. This one, like, hmm, what's that smell? And yeah. this one, uh, the Dior, I feel like it could kind of get lost in the in the the web of like cologne if you were in a room with others and you wanted to stand out. So wear this one on a date, and wear that one to like go to work every day. <laughs> but at least two, and I, I, like I love that. that. I love that recommendation, by the way. <laughs> so Versace three for three. Jeez. Oh my goodness, I'm not even Just like Push this over to the side. It's I okay. Yeah, come it's on, right. Dior, I'm rooting for you. Dior makes some really interesting scents. They do. Um, they're really out there. Some of them, I would go as far as saying they're kind of avant-garde. Okay. Um, Unfortunately, that might not work with that everyone. Everybody. So these are a bit on the lighter side. You have the sweetness of arrows. There's a t tobacco, like sweet vibe of the dreamer. So I think the next two should be interesting. I'm going to save these two for last. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the original Versace Pour Homme and a flanker of this one, which means another version, a reinterpreted version of it called Fahrenheit Cologne. So it's not going to be as strong. Okay. So again, we'll start with the Dior. Let's, let's. Come on, Dior. I'm rooting for you. And I haven't told you which of these are my favorites. Right? Do you have favorites of these? I do. Uh -huh. I do. No, not he has gonna... not told me anything. He has been completely unbiased. Yeah. Huh. So it should smell similar to that one. Similar, but way lighter mm -hmm. to me, anyway. Okay. Something. I like it. You like it a little bit better than that I, one? Yes, I do. Um, I can, it's light. Okay. This could be, it's like crisp. Yeah. Um, There's definitely more citrus in there. Citrus. <laughs> Versace Pour Homme. All right, let's see. Huh. Hmm. I like this one too. This one is also light and crisp. Is there mm -hmm. any citrus in that one? Yeah, there is citrus in that. <laughs> I think it, my tie is allowed. I'm going to go with the Dior. Okay. On this one. All right. Although it was very close. <laughs> wow. Very, very close. But I'm going to go with the Dior. Yeah, that's the Dior. I know. Okay. I got it together. <laughs> just want to make sure, you know, we smoked a lot. I didn't so. mix them up. I didn't mix them up. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have two more. I'll go ahead and spray the Versace first. I'm excited. So this is Versace's Mano Fresh. So it's a summery sort of scent. Okay. I didn't realize that they did that for men's cologne. Like I know with females, they'll come out with like summer versions of uh, yeah. classics for the summertime light and airy, but I didn't realize they did that. Oh yeah, they do that all the time. <laughs> hmm. Um, no. No? No. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's something in here that I'm like, mm-mm. <laughs> I don't 
don't know what it is. It's not. And yes, I know I keep smelling it, even though I'm saying no. I just want to be sure that it's like a no. Well, there's a there's an aquatic presence, and then it has like a star fruit no. Hmm. That's something. It's a little weird. Yes, I, I feel like you know, the, it's almost like when you you have a plate of food and it's mm -hmm. like. It doesn't smell good, but you keep smelling it because yeah. you're like, I don't know, it's kind of... And then you even taste it. You might taste you're it. You're like, why did you're I like, do why that? Did I do? Yep, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, no. Okay. Sorry, Versace. But you might still like it better than Dior Sauvage. I might, so, which is why I put it here. Let's see. Instead of just chucking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is awesome. Okay. Mmm. <clears throat> Is this a recent one from Dior? Mm -hmm. Oh, the one that has Captain Jack Sparrow on it? Yeah. Oh! I've been dying <laughs> Here to smell this one. I'm sorry, was that a shameless No, no, that's totally awesome. Totally unintentional. Yeah, oh, that's the Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. this is so good. It's good, isn't it? This is so good. <laughs> I like it. Just it off the table. <laughs> this one is good. I like it. Isn't it? It is so good. I might have to, I might have to get a bottle now. <laughs> Hold on, but do you think that that's better than all, the, all of and, these? Whew. Can we do each one just one by one? Yes, like, yes, 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 we can. That's why we can. Because so far it looked like Versace was winning the race and then like Dior Sauvage kind of won everything. So that's Sauvage. This one is definitely and that's not going to Fahrenheit happen. Cologne. No. It's, nope. No, no, no. All right. So throw that, leave that there. Okay, so this one. Could give it a run for its money. Okay. <clears throat> Eros is good, as you know, but I don't know if it could compete with Savage. Sorry, Eros. All right. So what about <laughs> Dylan Blue? Let's see. No, it's like night and day because this is like a strong bold, and this one is like. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to describe it. You could wear it every day. You could save it for special occasions. You could, you could get married in this one. Oh, that is true. So that is true. So you might get this for Rob. Yes, yes, yes. That's that awesome. could work. So this one, I don't think would win the the battle for me. It mm. would be down to these two. Wow. Okay. Decisions, decisions. That's interesting because that's a recent release and this one's a classic. Yeah, I, but there's something about this one. It's a little powdery. It's a little like everyday-ish, which, you know, works. Yeah. But there's something about this Savage. It might have to win. All right. Ah! Guys, you heard it. Uh, the winner is Dior Savage. <laughs> I think it's a great scent. Can you tell I've been wearing this one? Ah! <laughs> There's practically nothing in here. Is that one of the favorites that you didn't tell me? You have no idea. There are reviewers who are uh, doing top 10 lists and this is coming in at number one. Wow. So it's a really popular scent. And I was surprised when you made a comparison between those two because people usually say this one's a little bit stronger so you want to wear this at nighttime. Then you wear this in the daytime. Yes, I totally so. um, did not know anything about. I mean, of course, as you know or you heard, I am familiar with the marketing. Yeah. Of all of Johnny Depp. Um, but I hadn't smelled it, so this was like totally like. Cool. I'm glad you like it. Yay! So yeah, that's it. So um, I'm gonna leave links to where you can purchase all of these fragrances down below. Uh, the winner is of course Dior Sauvage. I once again want to give a very special thank you to Darlene for being on this video. Of course, anytime. Uh, let me know, do you want to see her back on this channel? Leave a comment <laughs> down below. Hopefully she'll be open to doing maybe another Versus video. We'll pick two other brands and we'll have them battle it out. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for future videos and remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way you never miss any of my future content. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.